guys, this is Rami X back with another video. If this isn't your first video, then please consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button while you're at it. This is part 9 to what a Kakashi Inga adopted Naruto. This is the first video, no, actually this is the second video of mine that might be a bit short. Uh, I think I might have already explained it, but on weekends my videos will be a lot longer, about like 10 to 15 minutes-ish longer. Just due to the fact that I can like type a lot more and uh, script more, uh, if that makes sense. Anyways, we left off with Naruto and the others entering the village, and they go to Hiruzen. Hiruzen gets them apartments, and Naruto registers his squad for the tuning exams, and goes home to sleep, and tells Zabuza about Sugetsu. Zabuza says that he will train Sugetsu right after the tuning exams, because if he doesn't display that he's not already tuning level, then there's no point in training him. To wield the executioner's blade. Though I might have to because he's my son. Okay, side note here. So I was on Nartopedia just uh, searching around. And I was like, hey, how about I do a bit of research on Zabuza as well? And uh, it said that Suigetsu is Zabuza's son. Though it may be false, but I'm pretty sure he is. And his mother is a Hozuki. That's why he has like the water thing. And he had killed his brother to become a Genin, which is, like, in the Great Ninja War, there's, like, a reanimated character who looks kind of like Suigetsu, with, who I thought was his father, but I guess it's his brother. Uh, fuck you, missed. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry for swearing. Well, I registered this channel for an adult channel in Kappa, so I don't really, I uh, wouldn't really care. Which was how the mist operated. You would have to kill all of your classmates at the academy. Anyhow, the next morning, Naruto made shadow clones to find where Jugo, Sugetsu, Kimaro, and Karin were. were. He found them and said, Yamato, come here. He then paid Yamato to build a huge house so that they could all live together. This was just an add-on house. Yamato then did it. Making them all rush into the house, even Kimamaro, finding a room and claiming it. He then rushed out and told Yamato one more thing. Can you make a little room off to the side for my pet turtle? Also, I put this in here because Naruto made Kimamaro's curse mark not to have negative, the negative effects of the curse mark us that it usually does. So, Kimamaro's going to be more like his younger self. But just he has his own morals and is much stronger. Naruto also healed Kimamaro's, or he didn't yet heal it, but he arranged for his illness to be healed. Because um, there was this person known as Lady Sinade. Anyway, <laughs> well, we'll get into that later. Hopefully I don't forget, because I'm introducing so many ideas. I just don't want to forget any of these like, like, cool ideas. To be made by going out to find Tsunade while well, the tuning exams take place. And I'll go with Jiraiya so he can finally learn the summoning jutsu. And uh, he thinks he's just going to learn the summoning jutsu. But I have a bit more planned for him. And though you guys may think Naruto's a bit too overpowered right now. The enemies he's going to be facing in the future is what you have to look for. Like these characters like Momoshiki, Ishiki who's in Boruto. Who literally wrecks Sasuke and Naruto, sorry if you haven't seen that, with literally a kick. Like, ugh. You know, you, you don't even know, man. Uh, Obito, people of Madara, you know, yeah. Anyhow. Now, so, then Naruto went over to the Shining exams, and with his, like, squad, and by squad I mean Kimamaro, Jugu, Suigetsu, Kari and Sasuke, Hinata, and eventually I'll make it so that they're kind of like a group that like does missions together, but they only do like S rank missions and stuff, uh, stuff like that, just so I can um yeah include everybody into the story more. He then said, "Do well so people can see your greatness. Just wait. Now do your best. Going off to find Jiraiya. He then found him, saying, "I haven't seen you in so long, Uncle Jiraiya." He then said, yeah, it's been about six years. Right, Naruto? Naruto then said, yeah. But I'm not here to reconnect. Though, not yet. At least, I'm here to tell you that we're going on an A-ring mission to find... Well, this could be classified as an S-rank. 
but we're going on a merry ring mission to the hidden cloud and another to the hidden mist, creating a shadow clan that will stay in the village. Naruto then explained him wanting to learn the summoning, pulling it out. The dry then pulled out the summoning scroll, and Naruto said, that's it. And then he did his finger, put it on the scroll, and poof, nothing happened. Like, well, something happened. He saw him on, like, a small, like, frog, but he didn't. Like, not a small frog, but, like, Gamakichi level. Not, like, the one that was, like, a tadpole that Naruto summoned, but, yeah. Like, still one that is, like, decent. He then said, all right, let's try again, using more chakra, pushing it into the ground, and finally creating a bigger, like, a huge gamma, gamma. I'll just refer to him, well... Maybe I shouldn't refer to him as Gamma, but we'll create a new Toad here, um, who I'll reveal later. But yeah, so right now he's just summoning Gamma, or we'll call him Great Toad. So, Naruto then said, well, alright, now let's head to the Mist Village, getting to the outskirts of the village. Not in it yet, but close enough to where they could, like, see where normal ninja were and would be able to sense people from where they were. They then heard battle noises and Naruto and Jiraiya rushed in, discussing that they will help out Yagura. Realizing they're from the Akatsuki, Jiraiya would take note and Naruto would also think to himself, is this what, is this the group that Yugito and B were talking about? Avoiding all the attacks saying wind style, wind bindings, and now Lightning style, lightning chains wrapping around them, making them unable to move. Saying, I'm on Yagara's side, activating the fourth gate and hitting Kisame with his foot. But hitting Samai Hana, expanding the blade, Kisame then said, You should have never messed with the Akatsuki. Naruto then made note that this was the group that they were talking about. The blade then puffed up. Get extended, hitting Naruto in the eye. Naruto then said, My eye! Falling to the ground in agony as the bindings connected with all of the people around him except for Jiraiya, making them unable to move. So his left eye got hit, but I'm just letting you know. I think some of you might be able to predict what I'm going to do with this, uh, with his uh, left eye. That was a hit. Oh, there's a bit of a similarity. Kakashi? Kakashi Hatake? Remember what happened to his eye? Anyway, this was part 9 to what a Kakashi and Guy adopted Naruto. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Or on the X. Oh.